Welcome to the channel, everybody, and welcome back. If this is not your first time and you've been following me and watching all the market reports and the videos I've been putting out on the Capital Region, my name is Chris McMahon. I'm a local real estate agent right here in the Capital Region covering the Saratoga and the entire area. And we're in November, so that means we've got this month or October's market numbers for real estate are out. We're going to go over those numbers. Uh, so give you a little bit of insight of how that'll affect you, whether you're buying or selling. So give you some idea of how things are going. We're going to start with a broad general overview of the capital region, as I always do. So it's going to give you everything. And then we're going to take a couple specific areas. We're going to break it down and we're going to talk about those numbers. If there's an area that you're interested in and I don't cover it in this video, no fret. Just reach out, get a hold of me. I'd be more than happy to do your own personal video or just even can jump on the phone, do a Zoom call and talk it out and get you the information and stuff that you are looking for so you can be able to be educated whether you're buying or selling a home here. So let's just break right down into it. We're jumping into residential property here is what we're going to be talking about. Uh, we're going to jump right into this. Now, if you are interested in investment properties, which I know a number of you out there are, some multifamilies, that kind of stuff, I'm going to be watch next week because I have a follow-up video here that I go over the investment report coming in as well. But right now, we're just concentrating on single-family properties in the capital region. So let's just break this down right here. We're looking at, again, the capital region as a whole. And as we're looking at this right over here, one of the big things we want to talk about is the number of active listings. And we're going back to September where we popped up over the 2000 mark in the first time in quite a while as far as the number of active listings. And we did take a little bit of a dip down this month. But it still stayed over the 2000 mark right there, too, which is good. Because if you look going back almost a year, it's been since we hit that. Uh, and it's staying above that. So we still got some pretty decent amount of active listings on the way more than we had over here looking into the summer months here. But let's take a look at this price of uh, this over here. This is the average sales price. So we were at 380 in the month of September, October, we did take a dip down to 342. So it came down almost $40,000 for the month of October. So those prices are coming down a little bit here as we're going. On. Now the absorption rate, Seem, you have talked, no, I've talked about this before in the past. That's the number of houses. Let's just say today, oh, nothing. No more houses came on the market. How long would it take before we would run out of inventory or houses on sale on the market? And right now it's staying about steady at two and a third months here. So we're over the two-month mark. It's going to list the sold ratio. We've been seeing this come down. Over the last couple of months, it was almost 102%. So they were getting more than what they were actually offering. Right now, as you can see, we're at a flat 100%. So the houses that are going on the market, they're getting pretty much what they're listing for as far as their price. And then now days on the market was high. It has come down over the last, for a while, and it's leveled out over the last three or four months. It's sitting at about three weeks. No real significant change on that as it's coming down. Now, one of the things I love to check out here, we're going to take a look. Where is the hot price range for the capital region? Where are houses selling it for the most? And what price range do we got down here? And if you come down here and take a look, just under 200, that 300 to 400,000 range, that's where the bulk of the homes are selling. So if your home is valued in that area, then we know that there's a lot of people that are actually looking for those homes out there. So and if you're curious what your home is worth, get in touch with me. I can do a free, no obligation home evaluation, let you know how, what your home is worth and give you some ideas of what you could do. Might be able to even increase that value, get more on the market there for it. So we've got that three to 400,000 is the number one slot. The next one we got is actually over 500,000, about 50 less sold that month, about 150, a little bit less than that of homes valued at 500,000 or more. So those are the two hot spots for the capital region as far as the numbers go. Let's go through here and let's take a look at some of our favorite locations here and what we're gonna get. We're gonna start off with here with Saratoga. Usually our highest price point, and that's going to hold true here today. But what we're looking at right now is the active listings. Active listings have stayed about flat with it, about 120 for the active listing. So no real significant change. Uh, here we go over here. You've got the listing average price was at 
881,000 for the month of September, October. It is 727,000. So it took a dip from that month, pretty significant dip right there. So buyers looking in Saratoga, but prices are coming down a little bit. You may be able to find yourself a deal over in that area right now. Uh, absorption rate, again, it's flat. That's a little over three months in Saratoga Springs because we got some pretty decent inventory over here, right? With 120 listings in the Saratoga city area. And list to sold ratio actually went up. It was below 100% last month, uh, about 99, just below 99. It's up now to over 100 and 101.3 thousand. So it's over 100%. So houses are getting a little bit more than what they're listing for. Days on the market took a big or a little bit of a dip down to just over two weeks. And where's the hot spot here? As we come down and we'll check it out right here. Not a real big surprise. Over 500,000 is where the majority of the homes sold in Saratoga. We had 29 sales for that month and 18 of them were in that price range, followed by the four to 500 range and then the three to 400,000 range. Both had four sales and in that price range for the month. So again, Saratoga, pretty uh, home values there are quite high. So none of that is really shocking to see that being that high this price point. Uh, let's check here. Next spot we're going to jump into, let's talk about Queensbury and see what we got going on in the Queensbury area. Let's take out that. Let's take out the soul to make it a little bit less cluttered here. And what we're looking at is this blue line, which is the active listings. And we see the active listings were at 20, last month 21, the month before that 24. So it's gone down slightly, but not a ton, not a real significant change in it. Uh, the listing price, again, we're seeing this drop like we did before. Now, this is the average sales price. It's still over 400000 which is pretty solid here. So 408000 is the average sales price uh, when it was 574000 in the month of September. So it did take a drop but still over the 400,000 mark. We're going to check at the end of this here. We're going to see where the hot spot is for Queensbury and see if that kind of fits in that. It stays consistent with some of the other areas here. Uh, absorption rate, not real long. This is just barely over a month here. So we saw Saratoga was up there. The average for the capital region was higher. So a little bit over a month. Days on the market dropped, but still sitting at about that average at three weeks. And let's come down here and see where the hotspot is. 18 total sales in Queensbury, six of them in that three to 400,000 range, five are in that four to 500,000 range, and then three of them over the 500 mark there. So this right along the average for the capital region here in Queensbury as far as the numbers are. Let's move along here. Let's take a look at, we're going to go down to the capital. We'll check out Albany here and see what we got going on. Again, I'm going to take out the pending. Let's take out the sold. Let's just kind of look at this right here. New listings dropped a little bit here, came down. Active listings stayed roughly the same, came down a couple. It was at 90 now. It was 93 the previous month, so we're not seeing a huge difference in anything right there. Right over here, we've got average sales price. That dropped as well, so this is a consistent thing that we're seeing in all the areas so far, at least. Uh, 282 the previous month, 271 this month for the average sales price in Albany. Uh, absorption rate in there, about uh, one and a third. As far as months, the list of sold ratio came down, but still over 100%. It was at 104 and a half. In September, October is 102 and a half. So it came down 2%, but still getting over 100%, which is good for sellers right there. Uh, days on the market is uh, just over two weeks for the days on the market. And we're, let's go down and see where the hot spot is. And here, 75 total sales for that month. We got, And the biggest spot was, again, that three to 400,000 range was 16. And the next two on top of that, both tied with 14, basically 200 to 300 range had 14 sales in that range. So let's move up here. Let's take a look at our next spot that we're going to take a look at Lake George. All right. So here what we got for Lake George. New listings went up a little bit. Did it? 
yes, new listings, 11 to 12, about the same. Not a real big difference right here. So active listings, 38, came down to 33. So active listings coming down a little bit, we're seeing, but still not that much, okay? Just slightly in the areas, staying relatively consistent. Uh List the average sales price is six hundred and seventy nine thousand. That actually went up a little bit here, so we're seeing an increase in the average sales price, where it came up from five thirty six to six seventy nine. Absorption rate dropped. We were at about five and a quarter months, and now we're at a little over four and a half months for the absorption rate. So still sticking around a while in there. Uh, list to sold ratio is up to 104%. Now, that's a pretty, actually a pretty big jump because it was 97.5% in the previous month. And now we're up to 104. So it dropped about or increased almost 7%. Days on the market down for the second consecutive month to just uh, about just under two weeks. And the hot area. We had four sales. Four sales in there. Three of them are over four. Over 500,000. We had one in that average area for the capital region, that three to 400 range right there. Moving on, South Glens Falls. Let's take a look at this one really quick. What do we got going on in South Glens Falls? Here's what we got going on in South Glens Falls. New listings dropped as far as active listings stayed consistent right at 10 right there. Average sales price dropped from 307. To 259, so about 260 on that one. Absorption rate increased. We're at about a month and a half for the absorption rate. And this area list to sold ratio dropped, but it was at 112 in September. It's still over 100 at uh, 105.7%. So they're still getting over 100% for what they're listing it to. Uh, days on the market is increased to about a week. So not hanging around real long in South Glens Falls because. Let's see what the uh, what the hot spot is down here. Hot spot that two hundred and fifty to three hundred range. We have three sales, nine total in this area. Three on that range right there. Two in our net in our average here for the capital region from that three to four hundred range. So some of the reasons may be they're not sticking around. Is it's a little bit more affordable. We're seeing that big range right there. A little bit less than Saratoga, Lake George, and some of the other areas. So. Next spot, we've got Glens Falls. All right, so Glens Falls. Active listings, 19, dropped from 22. New listings, 12, dropped from 15. So both of those came down a little bit. Average sales price, we're seeing this trend come back to us here. Now it's dropping over again. It was 221. When last month, it was 297, so just under 300,000. Absorption rate came down there about uh, one to three quarters months. List to sold ratio dropped. Is it going to stay over 100%? It is not. It's at 96%, a little over 96% for the list of sales ratio. Average days on the market increased just slightly, still just under two weeks. In the hot area over here, we've got 13 total sales in that month. The two to 250 range is what we got right there, followed by the 250 to 300 and the 180 to 200 range came. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm missing this. So the three to 399 had three. So that was our next spot right there. And the last but not least, let's talk a little bit about Clifton Park. Let's check and see what our numbers are going to be here. Okay, so Clifton Park, we've got. New listings actually took a pretty good jump. It was 26 uh, for the month of September. It jumped up to 41, so quite a bit of new listings right there. So we're seeing the active listings staying relatively flat for, as it, for the last couple of months. It is active listings have stayed exactly the same, 57 for this month. Uh, listing prices, average sales price was 448 in September. We're at 492, so it's going up in Clifton Park. New listings are up. Active listings are staying the same. The listing prices, average sales price is going up. Absorption rate went up 1.8 month. List to sold ratio is over 100%. It's at 103.6%. And days on the market dropped from over a month. They were at 37 days down to 10 days. 
So that corrected quite a bit, came right back down in there. And where is the sweet spot down here we're talking about? 32 total sales in the month of September in Clifton Park. 13 of them, and that's going to be our number one spot in that 500 plus, followed by 12 in the 4 to 499 area and then we got a significant drop off down to three three and one right here and the next files following up right there so those are our numbers that's our areas we kind of touched on the capital region as a whole and we cover some of the areas again if there's an area that you're interested in and you would like to see more or learn more about that area reach out get a hold of me I'll be more than happy to kind of fill you in and everything and do your own personal video, even just jump on the phone and talk with you about that. You know what? If you like the video, you found some value in it, subscribe to the channel because we got all kinds of videos coming out here. Not just market reports, but, you know, investor reports coming out. That's going to be out next week. But we also do just informational videos about real estate and the region and the community as a whole. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you're keeping updated on all the new information as it's coming out. And again, my name is Chris McBann, a real estate agent here in the capital region, and I will see you guys on the next video.